Dear students, today we will discuss reproduction and life history of Fabelia Cifer. Life history of Fabelia, very important topic. This is BSc students. This is final exam topic and today we will cover life history of Fabelia colony. प्यारे बच्चों ये जितने भी हमने नोट्स बनाए हैं उन सब की पी डी एफ फाइल हमने वीडियो लेक्चर उसके डिस्क्रिप्शन में अपलोड कर दिए सभी बच्चे अपने नोट्स डाउनलोड कर ले अच्छी तरह से बच्चों नोट्स के थ्रू वीडियो लेक्चर के थ्रू आपको प्रॉपरली गो थ्रू होना है इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ ऑबिलिया सी फाइल डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज वी नो इन केस ऑफ ऑबिलिया That is a trimorphic animal. It possesses, it shows three members, three jutes, polyp, blastostyle, and medusa. This umbrella shaped structure, these are medusa, these are free swimming. And each medusa is unisexual. It is dioecious. At it, it possesses only one type of gonads. Either ovaries female gonads or testes male gonads and in these medusa one two three four gonads each medusa possesses four gonads only one type of gonads either female gonads or male gonads it means each free swimming umbrella shaped medusa it is unisexual and Each medusa gives rise only one type of sex cells, gametes. Female medusa possesses female gonads, ovaries, and these female medusa produce eggs, ova. These are non-motile structures. But this male medusa. it gives rise male gametes male sex cells and these male gametes spermatozoans these are motile both male and female gametes are released in sea water it means fertilization fusion of gametes it occurs in sea water dear students means fertilization in case of obelia colony that is external because the free gametes are released in sea water here in sea water the gametic fusion takes place here look down male and female gametes they fuse in sea water and after the release of gametes after the release of sexes these parent medusa they die after gametic fusion the resultant body is zygote it is a diploid body having two n number of chromosomes and this unicellular diploid zygote now it undergoes cleavage mitotic cleavage as a result this single cell zygote converts into a solid ball like structure and this solid ball like structure it is marulasty it is marula larva and this conversion of single cell zygote into a solid ball like structure marula it occurs due to cleavage means mitotic divisions and these cleavage these mitotic divisions are holoblastic means complete breakdown of this zygote into resultant blastomeres these new cells are blastomeres it means in this marula solid bone like structure the equal sized it means the cleavage is holoblastic complete breakdown of zygote into equal sized blastomeres means marula having blastomeres and these are of equal sized now this solid marula changes into a blastula by developing a central cavity and that cavity is blastocoel or it is segmentation cavity 
this solid morula is converted into blastula and that blastula possesses a blastocele or segmentation cavity and it is surrounded by this cavity is lined by a single layered which is epidermis or ectoderm now this blastula single layered blastula having a cavity blastocele it undergoes gastrulation means conversion of this single layered blastula into two germ layered embryo that is gastrula and this process is named gastrulation dear students not down when this blastula undergoes gastrulation and this gastrulation occurs due to delamination it means the formation of new cells the addition of new cells occurs at one pole particularly and at one pole in this blastula as a result this entire cavity blastocele that gets filled by the newly formed blastomeres and this single layered embryo converts into a solid larva and this solid larval stage is named stereogastrula finally this stereogastrula it develops cilia on outer surface and it becomes elongated it becomes club shaped and in its central region a cavity appears and this cavity is not now no down this cavity is gastro seal or it is entron at this stage embryo strictly possesses two layers this outer layer is epidermis ectoderm and this inner layer is gastrodermis or endoderms because the animal is diploblastic it means in case of blastula that was a single layer embryo now it converts into a two germ layer embryo that is gastrula and this gastrula which is free swimming elongated structure and on its outer surface cilia are present this free swimming larva it is named planula now down neat students in the life history of cilantrates a free swimming ciliated larva that is planula and this pla planula larva it swims four time soon it gets settles it gets attached to a solid substrate it means on its outer surface the cilia which disappear and it becomes sedentary it gets fixed with the solid substrate this stage is means this planula larva it changes into this planula larva it changed into hydrula because it gives it resembles like hydra this is early stage of hydrula it becomes elongated it grows and it is quite similar to hydra this stage is this stage is late hydrula it possesses two parts this horizontal part which gets attached to solid substratum it is hydrorhiza which is roots like and it's this vertical part this upper part which is stem like this one is named hydrocolus at this stage it resembles this larva resembles hydra so it is hydrula stage finally it becomes elongated but starts to develop and this becomes a colonial form finally the colony becomes mature and it gives rise polyp and in the axil of this polyp this club shaped structure which is blastostyle and this blastostyle gives external buds and each bud develops into a free swimming medusa these medusa are released through this aperture which is gonopore this coat of blastostyle it is gonothica a dear student not down for competitive exams 
this gonopore, this cot gonothica, and this blastostyle collectively constitute a gonanth, gonangium. This is entire life cycle of Obelia colony. It is divided into two phases. This particular part is, it is sexual part. And here in this region, it is asexual part. It means in the life cycle of Obelia, there is an alternation of generation. Means this asexual phase, this poly phase, this phase gives rise sexual jodes, medusa. And these medusa gives rise the asexual part. This is alternation of generation. Or dear students, it is metagenesis. This is all about life cycle of obelia. Dear students, it was complete chapter of obelia. In next chapter, we will cover phylum platyhelminthes. Thank you.